So now we're going to demonstrate the MSR upper extremity nerve entrapment protocols. We're going to address median, ulnar, and radial nerves, but starting out, we're going to start up at the cervical and brachial plexus. So we have Kendall here, and I'm going to put a gentle contact, kind of upper anterior cervicals, not too much tension, be gentle, make sure you communicate with your patient. And we're going to slowly try to free up some fascial restrictions that may be affecting the uh, cervical plexus. Doing okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's going to work my way inferiorly. And then as we approach the clavicle here, we're going to get into that interscaling space here between the anterior and middle, middle scaling. So this is right where that brachial plexus exits. It can be pretty sensitive. Doing okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right there. Good. Yeah. And let's just do one more. Right there. Doing okay with tension? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to go below the clavicle, so I'm coming around, and in this kind of costoclavicular space, there's a lot of fascia musculature, that brachial plexus exits, and we're going to work fascial connections along that subacromial space as well. So I'm going to get you to bring your arm back, and you're just going to slowly kind of bring it back and down, just a bit. Okay, okay I'm going to reinforce my thumb contact there. Okay, so bring it back. Doing okay? Yeah. This one can be pretty uh, sensitive, yeah. yeah. And again, good, okay, let's just do one more here, yeah, yeah, right there, good, okay, good, yeah, so you want to hold those end ranges, make sure you feel a good release, okay, so now, let's have you uh, lie on your back here, okay, so one thing that I, I didn't mention when we were in that last procedure was, Underneath the clavicle here, as we approach the shoulder, we're going to work towards that coracopectoral tunnel. So we're going to first start from above, and let me just hold your arm here. So we're going to create some tension posteriorly, and then we're going to bring it out. Doing okay? Yeah. And even here, I can feel the coracoid process where the pec minor attaches. So these are important structures to treat, especially when dealing with thoracic outlet syndrome type uh, issues. Let's do one more. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Now, we're going to work from an other angle here, and we're going to get really close to the corpal brachialis and move our way up in towards that corpal pectoral tunnel. So right here, I feel a pulse. Make sure with any of these procedures, you don't want to feel a pulse. So I'm going to move off the structure. I'm going to get in pretty deep. There we go. Doing okay? Now I'm going to move in just slightly more superiorly. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Good. And you can really feel that tension build up and then hold it for a bit and there's a bit of a release that starts to occur. Good. Just one last one there. Okay, good. Now, moving distally, we're going to work towards that intramuscular septum. But we're going to go on either side of it and create a lot of tissue tension. Doing okay? Yeah. Good. I'm just going to use your arm here, you know, like almost like a lever. We're going to extend it. You can even pull your fingers back a bit. There you go. Okay. Good. So I'm going to work my way just medial to that septum. Good. And I'm going to go on the just superior to it as well. Once again, make sure you're not feeling a pulse. You don't want to compress any arteries or vascular structures. Good. Then we can even do a nice broad contact along that axillary fascia here. And just really open the whole area up. Good. It's going to come up a bit and you can even create a little bit of torsion there by rotating your hand a bit. You can really feel that one. Yeah. Good. Okay. So, and now we're going to move on and we're going to start to address median ulnar and radial nerve entrapments.